Howdy, welcome back to Transformers the Game. As you recall in the last episode, we returned to that bizarre city of broken content. And now, I'm going to show you a another bit of cut content. A character. Probably one that you've seen in some other videos, but I decided to show you it myself as well. We'll head to Tranquility for that. Behold, Pepsi Payload. Yeah, this is a weird one. If you recall in the last episode, I mentioned how there was Pepsi signs, and I imagine there was like a brand deal that fell through or something. I'm really not exactly sure. I imagine this had something to do with that. Maybe Payload was originally going to be a Pepsi vehicle, or maybe this was just something extra. Either way, I have no idea. It's very, very odd. Now, I will say, I was planning on doing a high-res skin of this guy, but upon a further thought, I don't think I will. Simply because this guy has a lot of... He would suffer a lot of mirrored text syndrome, meaning he's got all these individual logos, the Pepsi on his head, the Pepsi on the back of his doors. It just wouldn't come out well in the high-res skin without looking really, really weird. So I'm probably not going to do one, but that's what we have for the moment. So as far as functionality goes, he doesn't seem to have any ranged weapons. Oh, he does. Just can't do it idly, but he does have ranged weapons. Okay. He can do his standard melee attack animations. Yeah, he's got all that. Uh, he can roll. Should be able to roll. Got the... Um, Dash mod on, which I should mention. This uh, Pepsi mod comes courtesy of Sunrage Slash Game Master, creator of the alternative mod. It was included in the extras of the alternative mod. If you have the alternative mod, you have this, so you can try it out for yourself. Um, yeah. Really weird design. If you want to check out vehicle mode, Pepsi Payload Transform, you get this. Which is, uh, very quirky. The vehicle mode might be a bit more possible, but even then he suffers from some individual text logos that if I tried to do with the pillar we have now, he's just gonna look really, really weird and mirrored. It's just not gonna work out very well, so probably I'm not gonna do this. They are interesting though. I'd love to hear what the backstory for this is. <laughs> I wish Game Hut provided some input on it, but eh. <laughs> maybe he didn't even know that was in the game. Who knows? Uh, in any case, yeah. You can drive. Woo! Boom. That's fun. Alright, get out. Yeah, pretty much functions the same. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's... Really weird. Now there is also an Autobot version of this guy. I'm not sure if he's hanging around here somewhere. But I don't know if he's any different. I don't know. Let's see if he's here. I don't see him around anywhere. Why is that cool transformation thing suddenly working all of a sudden? Must be a map thing. I have no idea. Well, since I don't think the... I don't know about Pepsi Payload is here. I can... I guess I'll cut to him and see if there's any difference. Okay, there he is. Does he look any different? I don't know if he does. Oh, hey! Not really. Okay, no, they look exactly the same. 
Well, there you go. It killed me. Huh. Well, there is Pepsi Payload for you. Airy, strange character, very quirky. Interesting. Well, that's about it for this episode. Not sure what's going to be next, but I hope you all found this somewhat interesting. I'll see you the next one when we do something else probably unrelated to this. So, till then, I'm going to drop my stars in the, the Sea of Rust later.